Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back on the S22. This wheel, um, compared to all the videos I've been watching and all the guys I've been following, is like now something of an uh, ancient relic, really, with uh, the pattern, the Sherman S, the uh, V14, the Extreme. Um, all these new wheels make make the S22 look extremely old. <laughs> it's quite sad, really. It's quite sad. But yeah, I'm out on the S20. S22 I had some really fun on on the e skateboards if you guys are interested in electric skateboards long boards um, specifically uh, please check out some of the other videos that I made I made an unboxing unboxing is like an unboxing you take the board out you connect the stuff up and everything is going but it shows you around the board and then uh, the other video I did a ride video and it's yeah it's really nice you know if you if you like um skateboards and you've always liked skateboards listen i like i love my e eucs but i also love the skateboard stuff and uh go and check it out it's uh it's really it's really nice it sort of tickled me again to maybe uh, look into getting a uh, not a high-end board but sort of a mid-range electric skateboard because every, everyone in the family can ride it um it's a little bit more more uh, taxiing or tricky to ride an e e euc but yeah guys just uh, out on the S2022 and what I'm going to talk to talk today about is um, what would be a good second wheel second wheel or even your primary wheel if you have to buy something right now with all the wheels out there and this um, please drop some comments below um, sort of what type of style of riding you do and why you would choose that wheel that will that will really help I just want to try and get an idea so far it looks like it's going to be uh, the links um, but yeah the pattern is also there and and just um, in the back of your mind it's like in the UK we didn't we didn't have a abundance of wheels so the guys only the imports only import certain certain wheels other wheels you have to pre-order I don't really want to do that as soon as you have to uh, pre-order a specific wheel it comes in small batches there's usually no spares and all that lovely stuff so if anything goes wrong you that wheel is out of action for quite a long time so so just take 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 that and keep that in the back of your mind but yeah please drop some comments be, be, below of what you would buy right now and uh, what riding style you you sort of or what terrain you sort of ride weight terrain and uh, yeah just give me some feedback it would be much appreciated but yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna talk about the wheels and just uh, have a little ride. It is zero degrees outside, uh, 32 Fahrenheit. I checked this morning because I had to reset my weather meter. Um, and I'm also uh, testing out a little uh, bag because I see a lot of people has been riding with these bags. Actually, more on the motorbike motorbike side. And um, I bought myself a little bag and. I've had it out for about three rides now and it's just absolutely brilliant man it's just absolutely brilliant to not have something on your back or sling bag that comes around smashes you in the front or whatever it's just it's just it's just annoying so I'm checking this out and it's so far it's working great but yeah let's uh, smash out this little thing I'm gonna put the Insta360 on so we can do a, a do a bit of a, uh, a dive through the forest here before uh, too many people get out and uh, Spot the fun. So let's get going.
Check it this. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> So yeah, just uh, putting the Insta360 away, it's just a uh, really good fun, but everything is like properly frozen. This this looks like it's going to be the last day um, of, uh, of frost and ice. Um, they say yes, oh, tomorrow, the next, uh, the next storm is going to arrive. And uh, yeah, it's, like <laughs> it's going to be from a minus, uh, whatever we had, minus seven yesterday and the day before. Now that's not cold in con, you know, in other countries it gets much colder, but this is the, this is the UK where we have uh, fairly bad weather most of the time. <laughs> And uh, I actually prefer the dry weather, the dry and ice compared to wet and mush because then I can actually ride more. But um, yeah, so, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to go from uh, this type of temperatures, minus or zero at the moment, to, um, to 6 and 12 for next week. And a massive storm is coming past tomorrow. So uh, yeah, it changes extremely quickly. Um, I'm also on that uh, new firmware as you guys um, have seen in the previous video um what is it 2.35 i've had it now out for what is about two rides now and it's been really good you know this wheel just rides really nice you know it doesn't have the latest suspension pro progressive shocks and all that lovely stuff but it's just such a solid wheel i've had um so little problems with this with this wheel it still looks the business every time i ride past people it's like oh my word this is the best thing ever and uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's just a just a really nice, solid, easy to work on wheel. Um, and this is this is what I was looking at on the on uh, uh, some of the videos where the where the new wheels is not as easy. I'm still working my way through um, uh, uh, wrong ways videos about the links to see how it is to change the tire. But then again, you know, how many times do you, do you change the tire? Um, you know, it's it's uh, I've on all my wheels that I've had so far. I would probably say once so uh, but yeah then i don't ride a lot well i do ride but i'll i probably gauge myself as a medium distance rider there's guys that ride way more than me and also depends on the t the terrain you know we've got very little thorns and stuff here um, i keep a good pressure on my tires so i don't get any pinch flats or whatever when i when i hit curbs or whatever so it's just it's just like an you have to weigh all these things up and then there's the the magical slime as well what you can you could put in and um it sort of keeps your keeps your wheel from getting a flat but yeah uh, what is your thoughts about that you know um the ability to change a tire would 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 that be a deal breaker or not you know for me if i think about it no not really my only thing is i would like a wheel that um, comes with a with a with an off-road tire, a tire that can handle terrain like this. I like riding on the road. I like to ride on the road to get to my destination, but I like to ride in this type of con condition: mountain bike tracks, forest trails, uh, forest uh, single track, and so forth. Just like exploring, man. And my ratio from um, forest riding compared to street riding. The knobby tires has always been uh, perfectly fine for me. Give me some thoughts below, please. Boom. And guys, if you like this type of videos, um, if you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. My, my goal for 2024 is to get to 4,000 subscribers. <laughs> what is the chance of that? Um, it's just because it's, 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 uh, it, is, it is a massive job. I have full kudos for the guys that go out and ride and make videos, edit the stuff. I look at Duff, I look at Marty, I look at um, the, uh, the, the other guys in the US as well. Anyone, the guys in Europe as well, anyone that um, get out, ride, make a video, plan something to talk about. Adam as well. 
from wrong way evs or you know that's more their business but i'm talking about the guys that is just 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 normal riders making making videos man full kudos to, to these guys to grow a channel get people excited, excited about it because it's absolutely it is it is a lot of work that you have to do to get a video out and uh not that i want to try and i actually do these things for fun and to learn more skills about video editing and so forth but um it is it, it it is a lot of effort so all the guys that you follow whatever please subscribe to them please comment on their channels please uh hit the notification bell you know uh, the like button all these things help youtube um, um discover their channels more so they can grow their channels more so they can you know you can help the guys along it doesn't cost anything when you're on youtube and you do these type of things it doesn't cost the the viewer anything except if you have uh, um youtube youtube prime okay guys let's carry on with the ride so i was looking at the um v14 that looks like a really nice in motion wheel um i like the i like the design i'm not so uh so fond of the orange color but it does look like a really really nice wheel oh that looks like a really nice path ho, 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 ho. so can we turn around here without falling off there we go so yeah it does look like a really nice uh, really nice wheel can't go through there it looks like a whole new trail yeah i haven't seen before this is gonna be this is gonna all turn into mush because at the moment it's rock hard and uh, the horses come through here and they just basically churn the stuff out look at this woo nice just gonna switch this light off there we go um it's it's uh now the v40 is a really nice wheel but i i saw a comment that uh if uh if veteran is going to pump out another wheel um then uh, no one is going to buy anything else <laughs> because at the moment with the uh what is it the sherman s and then uh the pattern and then also now the links these guys are just i can really um smashing out the wheels building something really great um, and you know, I was watching a video from Marty last last night where him and Roger and Dawn was riding the links and the pattern and all that stuff. And she's uh, man, the wheels are just getting so much uh, better, quality wise and everything wise, ride wise and so forth, that it's uh, it's just absolutely brilliant. It's a massive win. It's a massive, massive win for uh, for us as EUC riders or anyone getting into this um, type of uh, uh, hobby, sport, or whatever you want to call it, is to be able to have a uh, like a range and choice of some really, really good stuff. Like it a lot. As long as they, as long as they keep on. Uh, uh, building this stuff forward it's the better for us the better for us more quality more safety um i'm just a little bit worried about this 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 high voltage wheels because uh the higher voltage they become the, the more of a problem they uh not a problem but um we get performance but it also uh can be a bit of a problem for working on the wheels because that is a lot of power a lot of power and yeah, if you, you as a normal, uh, normal human being need to work on your wheel because you are far away from a shop and so forth, that can be quite dangerous if you do not know what you're doing. And uh, yeah, man, it's just to build some safeguards in to cut off power, whatever, easy uh, maintenance uh, uh, videos and uh, isolating the power so that you don't uh, run into issues when you have to work on the wheel. So uh, yeah, it's just something to keep in the back of your mind. Most of the people, you know, they um, have dealerships close to them, um, but it's the guys that, oh, that don't have that. They uh, they might be uh, might be worried. Is that a little trail? No, no. 
we're always looking for little little paths that fork out into the forest and you don't know why they are there I don't know drop some comments below why you think there's like a random path going into the forest but then it just stops it's almost like a like a deer trail where uh, the deer has walked walked in but uh, and then they create a little path it's just interesting <laughs> but yeah so uh, that's on the workability or maintenance whoa, side of the wheel. But yeah, so uh, yeah, the V14 looks like an awesome wheel. Um, I've just had um, on the V12, I had, um, what do you call it? Whew. On the V12, when, when I had the, um, the um, high speed version um, a f few years ago, I uh, I didn't I didn't really get along with that wheel. It was just a really hard ride com com compared to a Sherman. This was um, a bit. Uh, it was just a it was just a hard ride. Don't know why. Just didn't get a feel or flow in that wheel. Um, and then I jumped on a, a the King Song again. I had a, S, a S18 and then the S20 and and my trusty old Sherman. The wheels. There was just a really nice wheel. The Sherman. The base Sherman. Or, and then the Sherman Max and whatever. It's just such nice wheels. It just rides really, really well. I'm sort of bummed that I didn't um, keep keep my Sherman. Just got, got it resorted out. It's just such a nice wheel. Looks cool. Just yeah, just absolutely brilliant. Long range, just get on and go machine. So yeah, guys. Um, then it's the pattern. So the pattern is the smaller rims or the smaller tire size compared to uh, the the Lynx I think the Lynx is the 20 the 20 the 20 inch wheel the standard wheel where the pattern is the 18 or 16 inch wheel correct me if I'm wrong I think it's the 16 inch wheel um, so same as the V14 but yeah now in the UK um, if you want to order a pattern then uh, you need to um, order it with the shipment of say a the what is it the, the links and then if i look at the links or the pattern the links has is, is, is got the new suspension and everyone is raving about the suspension having a, uh, um, a progressive shock like almost like well it is like a motorbike shock where you uh, oh, wow. we have all the all the business on it that that sort of uh, makes sense you know why not jeez man but yeah the price the prices holy moly guys the prices um, but yeah just rolling back quickly what do you guys think about the shock um, and what would you go would you um, go with a pattern I just like the look of the pattern and the, the Sherman S is too big for me it's too big too bulky and I think it's well it is too heavy um, 40 kilos is already heavy this wheel is already he heavy so uh, yeah, drop some comments below what you guys think of the of that wheel. Oh, I've got my heated jacket on and uh, the shawl over it, and man, it's absolutely class. Got my Ali G glasses on, so my eyes don't uh, freeze up, but. Uh, Oh, so nice to be out, man. Woohoo! Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. <clears throat> so, guys, what do you, uh, what do you suggest? Pattern V14. Whoa. That's solidly frozen. Look at that. Oh, I love the flow of this wheel. It's absolutely brilliant. And then, uh, yeah, this is the suspension travel. You know, I'm so used to um, having a nice suspension travel now. What is it? 130 uh, centimeters. Not 130. Yeah, 113 centimeters. 130 moles. And uh, yeah, it's just really nice. But yeah, the, this, the shock is quite stiff. 
so it's it's great for big jumps but uh, the small stuff it doesn't soak up that well and that's where you can see the other suspensions really run really nice and takes all that bumps out you get a really nice smooth flowy flowy uh suspension oh man this is so nice to be out on this thing damn i have missed it i have missed riding this wheel just had such crap weather there's another path here and yeah i need to i need to take these things now because it's going to go away tomorrow when it all uh, turns warmer let's go and try it out Oopa. I don't know where this one goes to. Again, it's just a random party in the forest. <coughs> but yeah, so V14 pattern or Lynx. What do you guys think? I like them all. I just am uh, a bit worried that if I if I do buy the the V14. It's going to be a bit, um, I might not uh, get the feel for the wheel. And then uh, whoop, what I have then is uh, I can't send the stuff back. That's, that's sort of the problem. So uh, I know if I buy the, the Lynx or the Pattern, because it's the same as the, as the whatever you call it, the same as the, um, the Sherman ridden their wheels and they are just awesome ah this is where it comes out another forest track beautiful now i know where this comes from great stuff but yeah drop some comments below what you guys think um i'm gonna be smashing it out now there's like um like loads of people in the forest already it is uh, and this is eight uh, this eight o'clock there's a guy running around with dumbbells like come on man, get back in your bed so i can uh, um pack out a bit of speed but yeah I'm going to be smashing it out, getting uh, home, making some nice breakfast, and then enjoying my weekend. Um, but yeah, guys, um, what, is your, what is your thoughts? Um, and as I said in the beginning of the video, if you, if you have any suggestions or if you have any of the um, new wheels, please drop some comments below. It is, it is much appreciated. I like answering all the questions. Okay, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you uh, haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as I said, follow all the other guys. Subscribe, like every video, even if you don't like it. Just hit the like button. It just really helps the guys out. You know, I made a, a, a quick little exciting video about a skateboard. Just talking about that I'm going to get the skateboard and I'm going to unbox it. And I, get, I got two uh, down... Uh, thumbs down you know I thought myself you know if if someone doesn't like a video just just move on just move on um, but if you do like it if you like the guys talking or the girls talking whatever you like their content whatever give it a thumbs up but why why why, why go through the effort if you if you if you don't like it it just doesn't help anyone you know it doesn't help anyone. everyone is trying to to have some fun record their footage and uh, and share share stuff some people like specific um, uh, 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 videos and whatever and some people don't but you know just help the guys out you know i was i was looking at a video about a dji avata it's like a fpv drone that i got and um this guy has got 213 subscribers and his videos are phenomenal man i'm like an how does he how does he have 213 subscribers and um, his videos is that high quality you know all the slow panning the uh, grading of the video and stuff like that is absolutely class stuff man and like a cheese man underrated boom big time <laughs> But okay guys, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's free. Um, and I hope you guys get time to ride your wheels wherever you are. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Much appreciated. Cheers.